All right. Atoms make up everything. So true. Very important in chemistry. Very important. Atoms do make up everything. And funny joke here. And because of that, we have a model of an atom. And the model of the atom helps us to understand it. So this is a model that's been in utilization for quite a while, and it shows you the parts of the atom and how they're arranged within the atom. So remember, the atoms are so tiny that you can't see them with your eye. You can't even see them with a microscope. So we're using a model to help us understand something so difficult that we can't see it. So the smallest unit of all elements that keeps the property of that element is called an atom. And as you know, in the periodic table, there are many different kinds of atoms. So all the elements that we know on the periodic table um, are made up of atoms. Now, what we need to understand is that those atoms have a nucleus that is very small and densely packed. So here is the nucleus of the atom, very small and densely packed. And that nucleus is small and densely packed with two subatomic particles. It's packed with the protons and with the neutrons. So in the nucleus, which is right here, we have the protons and the neutrons. And the protons and the neutrons are two subatomic particles that densely pack together to make up the nucleus of an atom. Now, if you were to stand in the football field and hold a marble, that would help you represent how small and densely packed the nucleus of the atom is. And the rest of the football field would be the empty space that represents where the electrons are located. So these little guys right here are the electrons. Um, in this model right here, if you want it to be um, the blue could represent the protons and the red represents the neutrons. So neutrons are neutral. That's why they have a little zero on the upper right. That's their charge. Protons are positive and electrons are negative. So if you're taking a look at this, you see where they're located. A neutral atom is an atom where all of the protons in the nucleus and all of the electrons outside orbiting are equal. Protons are equal to the electrons. In this particular atom, if you see one, two, three, four protons, and one, two, three electrons, that atom is not neutral. That atom has an extra positive. That atom would have a positive charge, positive charge. Um, other thing to note here is that the atomic mass, the mass of the atom is the protons total plus the neutrons total. So this atom has one, two, three neutrons, and one, two, three, four protons a total mass of seven AMU, atomic mass units, okay? So if you look at the protons and the neutrons and the electrons in these models, now in this model, let's just say that the white is a proton, all right? And the dark is a neutron. And of course we know these are our electrons orbiting outside now notice in this model, the electrons are orbiting in rings, a little different than the one that we just saw over here where the electrons are orbiting more in elliptical orbits. It's actually more like this, but remember these are just models. They are not exactly the way atoms, um, electrons orbit. So the question is how many protons, neutrons, and electrons do each have? So you would be able to quickly count that one, two, three protons, one, two, three protons, and one, two, three, four neutrons. This one has one, two, three protons, and one, two, three neutrons. This one has three protons and four neutrons. Wait, three neutrons. And the electrons, one, two, three. And this one, one, two, three. So the question is, are they the same kind of atom? And explain. So which subatomic particle defines what type of atom you have? And the answer to that is the protons. 
since they both have three protons, they are the same kind of atom. These two atoms are actually, they have, wait, one, two, three. Oh, I put three here, but it's actually four. There's actually four neutrons here and three neutrons here. So notice these two atoms are the same type. They have the same amount of protons, which happens to be the element lithium, the one that has three protons on the periodic table, but they have different numbers of neutrons. These atoms are what we call isotopes. Isotopes are atoms of the same element with different neutrons and therefore with different masses. There you go. Show you the difference there between the same atom and different atoms with different numbers of neutrons. So these two atoms are the same kind, but they are not the same atom. They are what we call isotopes of one another.